Hello and welcome to another On Deck Baseball set summary. Today we're going to be talking about the latest and possibly greatest uh, On Deck Baseball Batter Up League Expansion set. This will be League Expansion 4. Now before we get and dive into this set, if you could hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below, possibly on some kind of set that you might like in the future, or any comments about the fictional baseball game or On Deck Baseball in general. So what we have in front of you here is our newest box. This box is going to help me kind of consolidate the sets down. Um, it is a generic front with On Deck Baseball Batter Up, so every Batter Up set that you'll see once I run out of the other boxes will come in this box. On the reverse side, on the back of it, we'll have the different logos for the different expansion sets. We're going to be talking about League Expansion 4 here. Uh, if it was any of the other sets, they would be marked off. Then on the side, of course, we do have our Season Selection. Uh, we are going to be talking about League Expansion 4 for Season 1. So that is the new box. That's how the boxes will look moving forward. I still have some of the other boxes for the other sets available, so uh, working their way into this one may take a little bit if you're new to On Deck Baseball. Now once we pop this set open, the first thing you're going to notice is some schedules. Now this schedule is going to be a little bit different than schedules for the other expansion packs, uh, and that is because this schedule and I'm going to call it probably an advanced schedule for these new teams and that is because it is not a balanced schedule. Uh, days off will vary between the teams. Uh, not all the teams will have the same days off. So if you want to have a shorter season, you're going to have to mark that down and make sure that you, all your teams play the same amount of games. Um, but all the teams are here as far as the male teams, the female teams are not included in this league, uh, but you are welcome to add them to your own custom leagues. So all the new schedules will include all teams uh, for the male teams in this league. Moving on from the schedule, we are going to start getting into our brand new teams, and our brand new teams are the Red Barons and the Cyclones. Now in your Season 1 sets for these expansions, of course you will get the rosters. The rosters will show you your players that are on the team as well as their points and seasons or years left on their contract. It is front and back and has your 25 players. Um, that is only available in the Season 1 sets. As you move forward, most leagues will start to evolve differently. Uh, so, and with player movement going from team to team, I did not include the rosters. However, you will still get your uh, record keeper here. So this is for the Red Barons. It has wins and losses. You just mark off whenever you get a win or a loss. And then, of course, we do have the schedule specific to the Red Barons. Uh, April, May, and June. It is a three-month schedule, 72 games. And moving on from there, we will take a look at the Red Barons. Uh, these two teams have something quite different than other expansion sets or even the base set for On Deck Baseball Batter Up, and that is there are two different uniform schemes. Uh, there is 25 players for each team, but you will notice that we will have two different uniform designs. Uh, you can count one as home and one as an away or an alternate, uh, but it is it provides a little bit of vari variance in the uniforms for all 25 players. Now. For your players in the Red Barons, we have Carl Welling, who is quite possibly the star of the team. He's 96 points and a solid second baseman defensively and offensively. And then we kind of move on to Billy Latner. The character art here is fantastic. The catchers always look good. Uh, Aaron Griffin, a right fielder. I'm not going to go through and name all of the players. Uh, we have a solid defensive third baseman, Bobby Brunson here. And we'll kind of work our way over to the pitchers. Andy Copeland. Now, if you're like me, you're looking at the stamina and endurance numbers. Some of these players and teams play a little bit differently than others. Billy Kruger will be able to go late in games, but he has a little bit lower of his pitching ability. A 5-5 here with a stamina 2, so we got a long reliever here. So if you're looking at these cards, probably making up your strategy of how to play these teams as you go. That's definitely what I would be doing. And we'll move on to the Cyclones next. Now these teams and the logos were voted on by the community, so I hope everybody's happy to see the color schemes as well as the logos. So with the Cyclones, we have the same. We've got your win-loss tracker. 
Then we have your roster, again only available with Season 1. It's going to have your points and seasons left on the contracts for your players. And then we have the schedule specific to the Cyclones. Again, 72 game season, 3 month schedule. And then we have the Cyclones players. We have Adam J, probably their star first baseman, uh, average defender, but look at those numbers straight across five. So that is a very good offensive player, pretty good matrix on the back end of that. Uh, may be fighting Mark Haggerty for some MVP credentials, not sure how that would play out in your league, uh, but certainly does play out in, uh, in leagues that I've had. Alex Peplo, solid center fielder, some speed there, great average hitter. Pete Myers. Lots of power at the second base position. Average defender, though. A lot of pop. We got Nick Ladd, shortstop. And we'll go on through another nice catcher character there, Bobby Kulak. And we'll head on over to the pitchers. We got Marty Sass. Stamina of four, but a pretty decent endurance there. Another 4-4, four, four, Carlos Ortega. Chris Mark. A lot of four staminas here, so, so you got some pitchers that can go deep in a ball game, but you also got some middle relievers here with three stamina, so he can go three innings, long reliever, another one here. So again, starting to look at that strategy on how you would play out this team. And that is the Cyclones. So again, in this expansion pack, League Expansion 4, we have the Cyclones and the Red Barons as well as an unbalanced schedule, an advanced schedule for you on-deck baseball players who've been playing this game for a while, this will be a challenge. You're going to have to challenge yourself with managing that rotation for the team that you're in control of or the other teams across the league. So that is League Expansion 4. Again, we have our new style box for on-deck baseball batter up and your sets will be selected on the back with your season selection on the side. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and that is a look at the League Expansion 4 for On Deck Baseball Batter Up. Thanks for your time.